Hello and welcome to episode number 24 of Creating a Legend. I am the FM Novice. Join me today as we play the home game against Alexandria. And it's safe to say, since we've secured our league safety, performances have dipped. Certainly results have not been very great. If we look at the league table, we are in sixth position, which is the lowest position we can face, finish. And very probably the highest position we can finish as well. Mathematically, we can still finish higher. But we've got five games to go. We've got Shakhtar in there. We've got Maripol, Olympic D and Alexandria again. Of those five games, one of them, hopefully today, we can get a win. The away game against Alexandria will be very tough, but we might be able to get a win. The other three games, we probably haven't got much of a chance. If you look at the points, if we weren't in, if the league didn't split, we'd be in a lot of trouble right now, but it has done. So we can all sit back and relax. I think I might be to blame for this poor run of form because since the various game, which we lost 2-1, we played against Maripol. Late penalty in the 78th minute gave them a 1-0 victory. A 2-0 defeat to Olympic D was the next game. With Igor Kugat in sent off after one minute. The great guy. Well done. They scored a 93rd minute goal to make it 2-0, so they won that game quite comfortably. Then we played Dynamo Kiev and lost 2-1. Vladimir Shevchuk scoring for us with Eugene Pastor getting injured and having to go off during the game. The reason why I'm kind of blaming myself is we are looking towards next season, so we're not playing the strongest side every game. We're trying to give some of the younger guys a chance. So guys like Nazarai Moskafi is playing. Sobols is playing as well, as well as... Mikhail Chernik is having some appearances as well. Trying to give the next generation of Helios players a chance in the side. So the team for today's game is Denis Sirendenko in goal. Eugene Pastor will be out for the next few weeks. Gail took his right back, Stavchuk and Dutz on two centre-halves with Eugene at left-back. Kravichenko is not quite fit enough to resume his place at left-back. Igor Koshman is going to play centre midfield with Dimitrov Skoblov. With right wing is Ruslan Kizil, left wing Raphael Ola. And on attacking midfield is Andrei Skarlosh with Denis Bozdrenko up front. I think one thing that's coming very clear to me over the last few weeks is that next season we're going to have to strengthen our side considerably. And that means cutting rid of some of the dead wood in our squads. There's going to be a number of players leaving at the end of the season. We've already got one player secured out of the club and that's Tenchuk who's going to a Russian side for £150,000. So he got a point for a free transfer, £150,000 profit. On him, not profit, but we made £150,000 on him as Souza is attacking into Stark, though, who plays across field board. Polyaris shoots and drags it wide. That was a golden opportunity for them to go 1 0 up, and they didn't take it. So Tanchuk is the first out the door. Others likely to be going out. Igor Koshman has been unhappy for a long time, so he hasn't really gotten to my side. He's 25 now, so he should be out of the door in the season as well. And a Glushy, who has not performed at all this season is another one that I'm thinking of moving on. There might be one or two more but we'll see how it goes as Polyaris takes a free kick and it's not given away a free kick. Mishrenko plays back to start. Go shoots across the goal and Punama puts the ball in the back of the net but he's offside. Half time and nothing is really happening for us so I'm going to make an alteration to my side. Scar's just going to move to well Ola's going to move to the centre and I'm going to bring Kitcher on in the left hand side. Kitcher is one of the players who I may let go in the summer, even though he has been a tremendous player for us. He hasn't really performed this season. So to move him on does kind of make sense in a lot of ways, but we'll see how it goes and see how the season goes as we get a free kick nearly in the second half, but it won't amount to much. Ollo is really not having a very good game, which is frustrating because he should be doing a lot better than he does. So he's going to be my next change and I'm going to make that now. So Ola is off, and I'm going to bring young Chernik on in his place. Chernik is only 17, 18 years old, so very much one for the future as we have to defend a corner. It's whipped in free header and put wide. So an hour gone. We haven't really had any chances in this game. They've been the better side, but we are still nil-nil. We're 30 minutes away from our first point in this championship playoff section of the league. Pankiv with a goal kick, knocks it long. Eugene on the ball into Kitcher. Poor first touch, but he's still got the ball. Skoblov, now Koshman. Now Kizil. Back to Skoblov. Buzzerinko. Kizil, can he get down to the byline? 
turns inside. Koshman shoots, and Koshman has scored. Igor Koshman has put the ball in the back of the net. A lovely little goal. Doesn't score very many, but he did really, really well to turn that ball in from around about the penalty spot after good, slow, considered build-up play from the Helios boys. Kizil played it into Koshman, who turned well, and from the angle, pushed it past Penke. He probably could have done more, but we won't complain, will we? Free kick, edge of the box. Played inside and completely unmarked. Kalinchek has equalised for Alexandria. A disappointing goal to concede there. We was completely switched off from the corner. He was unmarked on the penalty spot. Koshman looks like he was the closest player to him and he didn't make the tackle. Quarter of an hour left. Going to bring Sobels on for Skarloff, who is exhausted. Corner. Sousa to take. Headed near post. Off the bar. Panama off the header there. Last 10 minutes of this one. It's been a better performance from us today, but only going to be our third draw of the season if we can see this one out. But all four of our defenders have been booked and we've got another free kick to defend on the edge of our box. Panama is onside, cleared away by Eugene. We're not committing many forward at this point. <laughs> They're giving it away. Gelchik, Koshman. Ah, poor ball. The right ball then and we were in, but a bad ball. And they can regroup. Good build up play. Switch in play nicely. Eugene heads it away. Kitcher on the ball now. Gives it away though. Ball back inside. They can break, but they drag the ball over the bar. Five to go in this one. A point looks like it's going to be the, the result. Which is, it's okay, but doesn't put its ground on Alexandria. There's going to be six minutes of injury time in this one though. Is there going to be a final highlight? Doesn't look like there will be. Eugene for throwing. And it's all over. A one-all draw. We took the lead. They pegged us back. I'd, I'd say it's an okay result for us. We had a number of players booked. I say we took the lead through Koshman, but they pegged us back straight away. They were probably the better side, but we've got a point. It's a point at home. It's our first point for a while, so we've got to look at the positive on that one. Next up is Shakhtar, which will be an inevitable defeat as they often are. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, please do leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. I've been the FN Novice and I'll talk to you again very, very soon. Good night.